Hello there, welcome back. We're on Extreme Trucker 2. 18 Wheels of Steel. An old game, but it's a classic. Made by the makers of Euro Truck Simulator 2 and American Truck Simulator. We're in Australia and we have two jobs available. One, this one, taking an airplane. Oh, we've got another one, a lot shorter, taking some sand. I think we'll go for the aeroplane. A bit is the shit. Here we are in our truck with the aeroplane. Luckily, the wings have been taken off. That would be awkward, driving with the wings. But, um, let's start her up. 18 wheels of steel and check the map so we know which way we're heading um, that doesn't help us very much so we'll just go to the info and see yeah we want to go left then left then right then right then left yep okay then let's let's go right then left then left then left was it right was it left I don't know I'm sure we'll find out which way we're going Automatic gears, keeping life simple. That's a wide load. Being risky using this view, but that's it, make it slightly more cinematic for you. Plus, there's always a good chance that I could get a thumbnail from some of this footage. Anyway, that's enough of that. Let's get back inside and put our Mac mark up. Mac level, tripping over my own tongue. And I think this is where we're turning left. I'm not going to check, I'm just going to assume that it is, because I'm sure it was the first junction that we came to. Uh, through my headphones, this game volume was rather loud. Oh my word, that would be bad. I realised I was going so quick. Then the game just sounds a bit loud, I've had to just turn my headphones down. Hopefully it's not recording too loud. The last few videos it seems to be having more issues again with the game volume. Test record it and I've got the volume set right, it sounds good. Then I've got a full video and the game volume is way too loud and it's overpowering the microphone. If you remember a few months back, I was having issues with the microphone. Still got a cold if you can name a sniffle and I keep having to itch my nose because I have a runny nose. So I think I'm just getting used to it now, I think this is just the way I'm going to be from now on. Chesty cough, bad chest, and a snot even in your nose. Just sorry about that. It seems when you talk about it, you notice it more. By the way, 18 Wheels of Steel Extreme Trucker 2. For those who don't know about the game, it's quite an old game made by SCS, company behind Hero Truck Simulator 2. It's not an open world game, it's preset jobs on four or five, I think it's five maps. Australia, um, Alaska, America, Montana, uh, somewhere in South America, and then Bangladesh, something like that. And it's like extreme roads, preset jobs, like this one was this preset route on this map, taking this aeroplane. quite an old game, quite basic, it's not got all the full force feedback settings and things that you get with you know, more modern games. But it's quite fun and playable, it's a nice change. I always use automatic gears so it's just sit back and relax and have a nice cruise and a relaxing cruise. In Australia, which, you know, it's 
not a yo-yo truck, obviously. It's not an American truck, so it's nice having these different areas. Different trucks. Still stick to what I always say, though. Don't trust the AI. Do we get past this guy at some point? But I mean, that bit is safe. This is to be overtaken. I'm being a bully right now, I tried that guy. Get out of the way! Hopefully he's turning left at the minute where we go right. I think we go, yeah, left. Right. I'm gonna double check. Yeah, we go right. It's the end. Yeah, yeah. But, oh, let's keep the map on though, just in case. Keeping the map on is the equivalent of having a sat nav on. We have a truck. Just keep an eye on and see what's coming up ahead. You turn left again. You don't want to go right, you want to go left. There's nothing for you that way. We have our day for this right. Oh, there we go, thank you. Didn't we have to check the whole thing? This truck doesn't turn very much. It's not really got much power, but I suppose the car goes quite heavy. If you watched my last Euro truck video, I kept um, having contact with the camera. So I have moved it slightly, hopefully it's better. But we won't find out today because I'm not using the gears. But yeah, the last video I kept uh, banging the camera, so from the viewer's point of view. <laughs> Sorry about that. See, <coughs> excuse me, some nice different scenery, different truck. No VR on this game. It's from a couple of years before Euro Trucks related to. That's not got a native VR mode. So. But that should be quite good in VR. Having it nice and smooth would in an old game and a bit low setting the graphics. It's not very demanding. modders who can do things like that watching. <laughs> That'd be a good mod. I would never have even bothered trying mods before for things like VR because I think VR is a bit technical and a mod. You hear about things being unstable and not really working properly with the controllers and things. But I've tried uh, the mother VR mod for Alien Isolation. Excuse me, yeah, sorry. Just tried it on the off chance, because I thought, no, that's a good game for VR. And, wow, the mod, it's like, you wouldn't notice a mod, it's like in full native VR mode, it's brilliant. Let's maybe look into more things that have mods available for uh, VR mods. The first automobilista, it's not got a VR mode, but there's a mod for VR from Crew Chief, and wow, again, amazing. The alien isolation models. Apparently, <clears throat> I don't know if this is true. I just remember hearing it or reading it somewhere that when the developers were making the game, they did start developing a VR mode for it, but then by the end of it all, they didn't use it. But they left a lot of the coding in the game for the VR mode, so the modder was able to find that and finish it and use that for his mother VR mod for alien isolation, which is why it worked so well. Might be wrong, but interesting story. Quite believable if you play the game in VR and see how good it works. But what a game for VR. I mean, the game's scary and atmospheric as it is playing through its uh, monitor. But in VR, you're not only looking at the desk you're hiding under while the alien's walking past. You actually are under the desk hiding while the alien's walking past. And when that alien gets you... Good. I'm intended at some point to do some alien isolation in VR for my VR channel. Just trying to work out what's best to do. I think the first couple of videos I might just do some survival mode. See if uh, people watch, because my VR channel's only got about 9 subscribers, so you know, they don't get the views. 
I'll just see how it goes. See if it's easy to record, if it records well. Uh, if it, people watch it and like it. And I might possibly consider a playthrough. The story mode. Maybe some of the DLCs first. To wait and see. I do personally think playthroughs are not really good for so small channels because you haven't got many people watching it from the start, and then when people do start subscribing, you know, you're only after a playthrough. Well, people might not want to subscribe, but they might not really get what's going on. Build a bit more of an audience before you start playing playthroughs of games. That might be one. Yep, I go in the right way. Just left here and we're nearly there. It was a longer job, but it still felt quite short. Like I say, it's a nice, relaxing game. It's not meant to be, it's meant to be extreme trucker, but it's just something different. Some different trucks, some different scenery, some different driving, some different sounds. Free road. That's you where I'm going here, I've got this camera. I've got the wrong side of the road. I think for a good thumbnail. Get the thumbnail. <coughs> Excuse me again. And there on our map we can see our drop off point. Got that sign saying watch out for kangaroos. You know, just an anomaly in Australia. Watch out for kangaroos. I think we can see that bed. I want to drop off. Just to the right. There we go, stopped, job done, <coughs> excuse me, 433 mile, that's the outback, we got no damage, we did it in 14 hours, and we got maximum points, that was good fun, I hope you enjoyed it, if you want to see more videos, trucking, racing, 8 bit driver guy in, then click that subscribe, uh, if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up, I'm gonna get going and edit some videos to upload, I'll see you again next time.